Hi guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out my wife's channel, it's also in that little eye on the top right. Click on that, you'll see a bunch of nice playlists you can check out. Uh, but here we are, I want to just go through this real quickly. I did a little change on my own before, a very small change. Uh, was because when you check out the objects loaded, you'll see that the the specular map isn't working if you do that in your project and that's because we're setting our textures diffuse and specular textures we're binding them here the same for each of the meshes we don't want to do that we want to bind them once for every mesh so you gotta kind of write it like this let me just make it bigger so you do the four outer loop just like it is and you render it at the end just like you have it but in between you put this override texture diffuse bind and this specular bind within that for loop, all right? And there isn't anything else. That's pretty much the change for that. Also in game, I did a little change if you look at compare with unmodified here. Uh, very simple change I did in the material here. I put a two instead of a one in that specular strength vector right there. So you can do that if you want just to check it out. Uh, and at the end, I removed the rotation so you can easily see it. So if I just load this real quick, you'll see that it's working fine. The specular map is working nicely now on each of the objects. You won't be able to see it on this one maybe. Yeah, there you go, you see a little bit of it. Uh, but it looks it looks much nicer now. Good. So let's jump right into the object loader. You don't have to think more about that. Uh, we're gonna continue working on this and we have a bunch of stuff ready to work. We'll just check if it's not open, we'll do a little uh, throw, throw. Uh, could or error obj loader could not open file like that and then uh, we'll just end that there it doesn't matter we'll be able to open the file it shouldn't matter but we'll throw it anyway we'll return the vertices at the end and in between here we're gonna start to do some stuff now the idea is to get one line at a time and to do a bunch of stuff. So we're, we're gonna need to do that in a while loop. I'm just gonna make a while. And of course, std get line, because we wanna get one line at a time. We're gonna do in file here. Good. And we're gonna put a line. Now we don't have a line variable yet, so I'm gonna do std string line. Or oh, we did have a line, sorry, sorry about that. We do have a line temporary right there. Good, so that's fine. We'll get a line at a time. And we're going to use a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna have to use my string stream a lot because we're gonna get a line and then operate on it with a string stream so ss.str is line we'll set that we'll get the prefix so the prefix is always the first uh first value here right there and we're gonna ignore all of these prefixes, only get the V, V, T, V, N, and the face, the F. The S as well, S is, I'll explain S later on, we don't have to think about that. There is a whole document on objects, files, and what they mean, I'll show you that later as well. Don't have to worry about it. But first of all, we're gonna get a prefix. So what is the prefix? We're gonna need a string on the std string prefix. Initialize that to nothing. Uh, we're also going to have to get vectors and stuff. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Vec3 temp vec3 glm vec2 temp vec2. Just holder variables for us to use. And also a gl int temp gl int. Good. Good, good, good. Seems nice. So here we go. Let's get the prefix. And of course, we're going to have to clear this at every loop. So don't worry about that. Uh, get the prefix of the line. Uh, read one line at a time. File error. Open error. Check. Am I recording, bros? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Uh, once that's done, once you get the prefix, we have to check what prefix it is, okay? And we're going to check that just by using if statements. So if the prefix is, let's see what we have here. Let's start off with the hashtag. 
if it's a hashtag we're gonna do a certain thing and if it is a here we go or we can do that actually there we go so if it's a hashtag we're gonna want to ignore that or do nothing pretty much uh, and we will just leave it as it is if it is a O, we'll also leave that we can do something with that later if it's a O if it's a V though that's pretty important and if it's a S we're gonna ignore that for now uh, here if it's a V it's a vertex uh, position okay good to just remember what these things do good and if it's a V we're gonna put that into our temporary vector so remember we have our line saved here we have already read the prefix and we're gonna go to the next line and we're gonna put that in temp vec3 since it's a position vec3.y and then <clears throat> sorry about that temp vec3.z and just close that boom good so now we have read that into our temporary vector of course we're gonna have to save that now in a vertex array kind of the vertex positions array so vertex position position there we go positions sounds better let's change that positions text chord normals good 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 okay vertex positions dot pushback temp vec3 good very good now it's pushed back and you don't have to worry about anything else uh, that's very good now the next prefix if the prefix is uh, what can it be if it's VT that's the easy part now we can just copy this and paste it in here but be very careful now very very careful careful you want to change this to temp vec 2 all of these and also temp vec2 here and you want to change this to text chords text chords okay and you want to remove the last part because it's only a vec2 so x and a y good copy paste this thing again be very careful just make sure what you're doing change this to vn now we need a vec3 again so i'm going to copy this top line from the vertex position vec3 x y and z that's all you need vertex normals remember be careful and then temp vec3 so we're gonna save that normal into that vec3 see that's very very good uh, da, 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 da. very nice very nice and uh, one line at a time let's do else ifs because you know that's what we want to do because otherwise you're going to have a lot of unnecessary if statements. Good. So now we have V, V, T, and V, and that's our most important, important things. All right. There might come something called use MTL as well. And we don't want to do that. Uh, prefix equals use MTL. I want to ignore that. And then else we'll just ignore everything else. If it's something random, we're just gonna ignore it. We're not gonna we're not gonna think about that. We need f though. That's something we want. Else if uh, prefix equals f. Now f is a little more complicated because f contains all these lines and all this weird crap. So we're gonna have to do our own little uh, functionality in there. And we're gonna get to that a little later actually because it's a very very complex procedure there so i'm not going to do that uh, now we're just going to do a debug area down here we're just going to debug each line so first of all i'm just going to do std c out uh, line just to see if that is cool and then i'm going to do std c out number of vertices this says And then vertex position. This isn't strictly correct because we haven't created the vertices yet. Uh, and this is just the positions of those vertices. 
So that should be good. Vertex positions at uh, that size. Uh, let's include that in game now. So open up your game. Just go ahead to game.h and include this. Include uh, obj loader. Now we can load all the stiffs. And then, very nice, very nice. Now we need a... Let's see, we're going to need a mesh as well. So just go ahead and open up mesh. There you go. And how do we create meshes? Now, mesh is created by giving a vertex array, the number of vertices, all this stuff. Oh, that's cool. All right, we can do, we can use this. This is great. Good, good, good. But first of all, we just want to see that it loads something. So we don't want to have to put it into anything. Uh, let's create a new function here. Init models, init materials init materials let's do void game init obj files obj models good and copy this go to game.h put that in here somewhere init materials init obj models good good game.cpp shouldn't be a problem now now std vertex no vector vertex temp good temp equals uh, obj loader wait hold on what's it called load obj load obj good and we're gonna put a little file name in here uh, let's go to our folder of the thing i have it in my projects here uh, then also here there we go and i'm just gonna put a little folder here called obj files and uh, there we go obj files open that now I'm going to go to where I know I have a few OBJ files. Hopefully you downloaded a few. Let's go here. I'll go to my 3D. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Sorry about this. Project. Here, I have a bunch of OBJ files. And I'm going to just get those. I'm going to get a few from Shadow as well, our admin. He's working on a bunch of nice OBJ things. So I want to I wanna, uh, do a few things here. I want to do the DDH and maybe simple cube maybe we're gonna do the humanoid sphere smooth sphere teapot is important all right we'll do these we'll do these for now let's just open go back to our obj files folder put them all in here pretty huge because some of these are really large look at smooth sphere it's it's just numbers and it's about 100 over 100 megabytes so that's insane that's insanely huge. That's how huge these files can get. That's why we need a nice loader. Now we're going to load obj obj files like that. And we're going to do a ddh.obj dodecahedron straight up okay, obj, And we're going to call this. So in a game here, we're going to do init this init obj models and run it so if this doesn't crash we should be fine it we will have tested it good it loaded it and it's gonna remove it good good job guys so we can't see it in this video hopefully in the next one we'll complete it in the next few videos we'll complete it and we'll make sure we can see those models but for now keep trying keep playing around with it uh, hopefully you'll understand what's going on don't forget to change the files model and game from like i showed you in the beginning of the video and yeah keep working hard i'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye